Once you find the village, ask around for Moen. The villagers should know him. I know somebody who might help us out, but their village is really far from here. We're gonna need to take a car. so we can get the hell out of here. Hope there's something useful. What the hell happened here? Is this infection all over the island? Jesus Christ. They were caught totally by surprise. This is never gonna oh, end, is it? It's Jin! Jin, what are you doing here? Get inside quick, I will open a door for you.
about you, Taro? Where is Moen? I'm getting to that woman. We've been through hell here. Last night, a whole mob of those crazy motherfuckers came crashing in here like bloody animals. It's amazing anyone is still alive. I'm here to talk to Moen. Where is he? Moen ain't here. I take care of business for him. Haven't laid eyes on the mook since everything gone crazy. I can take you to see him, but first, you do me a solid, right? Depends on what it is. <sighs> Here's the story. Afran fucked us good, man. His mook stole every single gun we had. Lucky for us, Afran's people didn't get too far, though. We heard on the radio that their car got swamped and they're stuck out there, waiting for help. Go there and get our weapons back, and I'll tell you how to find Moen. I'm here. All right, just hurry. Those bloody fools won't stick around there forever. If you want to get those sons of bitches, you better hurry. There is a shortcut up to the village leading to the canyon and ghost village. Go that way, and you will sneak up on those bastards from behind. Good luck. So, did you take care of your business?
for you. Hey! Hey, over there! So, did you take- You goddamn did it! You did what you said! I hold up my end of the bargain too, then. Hey! Help! A lot of villagers were badly hurt the last time they attacked. We need bandages and disinfectant to dress their wounds. Do you think you could find some for us? How can I say no? Good. Thank you. Look in Robin's hut up in the village. He had some medical supplies put away for an emergency. Please, hurry. The injured are in great need. some supplies. Unfortunately, 
Our friends stole every damn thing we had. Matutero told me to repair the gate. Unfortunately, the tools are in the house by the pier, and those things are over there. Those people who won't die. Will you help me out with them? Yeah. Thank you. I'll be right here. My wife is dead. Vargas is one of our friend's crew. He killed my Katie. She was in his way and he just, he just blew her away. He needs to die. He needs to suffer. And I'll give you whatever it takes to make that happen. How can I say no? All right then, we have a deal. The bloody git was headed back to his boss when Matutero blocked his way, scared him off. He's headed towards the canyon up from the village. Catch him and kill him and make sure he suffers. He doesn't deserve an easy death. He's getting away. Hey! Our friends set our food supplies on fire. What's left will barely last us till tomorrow. Will you help us? I can do that. Name's Brian. Thanks, eh? Hey, we don't know if animals are infected with this shit, so uh, we better not risk it. Hey, you should see if you can find any canned food. I saw some supplies in the bunkers a while ago. Maybe they're still there. Uh, everyone is starving. Thanks! Thank you so much. If you find something else out there, you know where to find me. Here. This'll do just fine. Take this. Here. It's the least I can do. There are some local healing herbs we can use to tend to the wounded. Would you be willing to locate some for me? I'm gonna try. This is good karma for you. You'll find these healing herbs growing in the swamps near the village. It's called Gatu Kola. Motherfucker! 
Some supplies. Thanks for all your help. Hope this helps. the Lord my life. We need to talk. I don't know how much time I've got left. I was transporting the medicine to the village when one of those things pushed through the window and sank his teeth into me. I managed to jump out of the car and get away, but I left all the medicine behind. Please. You need to retrieve the medicine, otherwise the wounded will not survive. Can you do this for me? Yeah. Thank you. Please, deliver it all to my friend Paul. He'll know what to do. And now go. Go! Go and do not look back! engines thank you I can handle it from here I hope Otho is okay out there may the Lord watch over and protect her they're running out of everything especially food would you be willing to find us some food? Money we have, food we don't. 
Right now, I know cash ain't worth nothing. But this craziness can't last forever. Gather us some food, and we will pay you good. Our money does us no good if we are dead, huh? Will you venture out there? Will you find us some food? Copa said. And then we have a deal. Food for money. But please, brothers, hurry. Thank you, true friends. You have saved us. For now. You find more, the same deal holds. Money for food, I promise you. A couple days ago, a large passenger plane crashed in the jungle. You could hear the pilot yelling for help over the radio right before it went down. Who knows if anyone survived? Even if everyone perished, there's probably some valuable equipment on board. Navigational devices, communications equipment. Do you help me find the crash site? Yeah. I'm sure it's worth the effort to find it. Hopefully we'll find something useful. Darkness is encroaching. Bright lights attract the undead. Those demons are drawn by the presence of life, which is why I need more blessed batteries. I'm turning them into flashlights so we can move around at night without attracting undue attention. If you can find more batteries, we have things we can trade. Yeah, okay. God bless you. Pardon me. My son and I are here on holiday, an adventure trip to tour the jungle and see some of the native villages. But then we were attacked by savages, and I ran into the jungle, and now I can't find my party. I finally managed to find my way here, but I don't know where he is, and I'm at my wit's end. Please, could you help me find my son? Uh-huh. Thank you. We were on a trip to the Silver Rain Waterfall when we got separated. I think it's just north of here. Hold on a second. I'm just so grateful to see you. I'm a producer for International Geographic. We were shooting a documentary when we were overrun by those... I, I don't even know what they are. I'm the only one who got away. The rest were just... Oh, Jesus Christ. Somebody needs to go back for the camera. People need to see what's happening here. Can you help me? I'm me. Excellent. Thank you. I promised to mention you in the story. Now you're welcome to use my car. I banged it up a bit getting away, but it should get you to where you need to go. What are you still doing here? You need to get back here. The doors are locked tight, right? But I know who's got the key. Bob, big guy. Used to drink with him in the pub. He's dead, but he ain't buried. I saw him shuffling around with those other bloody geeks. You up for getting that key? Ah, okay, what the hell? Brilliant. You might want to look behind the warehouse. That's where I saw him last. But be careful, right? He's a big boy and he ain't bloody alone. You! Outsiders! My bride was taken by raiders from an enemy tribe, the Huli. It is a great dishonor, and I need to reclaim what was stolen from me. But I am no warrior. If you agree to bring me back my bride, I will give you my father's machete, for I dishonor it. Will you agree to help me? Let's do it. You will? Thank you, true brothers! You will find a Huli village near the river. My bride's name is Mahina. Bring her back to me, and you will have this machete. <laughs> 